How disgusting. How shocking. The guy who recently attacked Hatun and stabbed her at Speaker's Corner has not turned out to be a non-Muslim. He was not found. It has not been confirmed that he is not a Muslim. And I'm pretty sure that that will not happen. What just happened, however, is that Ali Dawa uploaded a video which he titled Hatun's attacker wasn't Muslim. Breaking news. Speaker's Corner. And he starts the video with How embarrassing. How embarrassing. How humiliating. And he babbles and babbles for a while about the disgusting Islamophobes. And then he reveals that he doesn't actually know who the attacker is. He just uploaded this video to make a point. Because he knows that the Islamophobes and everyone will be watching this video. And he just wants them to have a little scary moment. You know what you have done with that? Because of this shocking video title, this clickbait, this horrible clickbait, over 20,000 people have already seen this video. And if you look at the comments of the video, 99% of the comment section consists of people who did not watch the video, who now think that the attacker has been confirmed to be a non-Muslim, a Christian, and they are now flooding his comment section by saying, ha ha ha, we knew it, we knew it, false flag. And they flood the internet, including my comment section and other comment sections saying, it has been confirmed that he was not a Muslim, he was a Christian. This is what they are doing right now. This is what Alidawa has done with his genius, his brilliance of mind. I mean, regardless of who the person is who did this and what his religion is, how disgusting do you have to be to do something like this? How low can you go? Full clarification, everybody who is watching, this is a confirmation that it has not been confirmed that the attacker was a non-Muslim. Don't fall for the stupidity of Alidawa. What's very funny is that Aldawa is not very angry about the fact that somebody stabbed someone at a park for their opinions. He is more angry about the fact that we call this out. He attacks us instead. He attacks us more than he would ever attack those people who commit acts of violence. Because we are filthy, dirty rats and liars. But those fellow Muslims who attack disbelievers are just idiots to him. Not individuals going and doing it themselves like... Uh Idiots, yeah? No. And when he disapproves of this attack on Hatun, he disapproves of it not because he thinks it is a terrible act and that killing and violence is wrong. He disapproves of it because he thinks this is not exactly what Islam teaches. Do we want the perpetrator to be Muslim? Of course not, because it's not what Islam teaches and not only that- And most importantly, this will cause backlash against Muslims, which is of course horrible. That backlash, our sisters are going to get on the road because these cowards usually attack men, you know? And because this will give ammunition to Islamophobes like us. Of course, he is not against killing people for their beliefs, no. We know exactly what Ali Dawa thinks about that. And we know exactly what Islam teaches according to his own words. This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it. People like you, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt. And we're proud of that. Yeah. And we, you know what, we'll be watching. We'll be watching. I don't know what to say. I really wonder if he thinks this is what an honest Muslim is supposed to do. I really wonder what his fellow Muslims will think about this situation. What his friends and dear Dawa colleagues will think about this situation. Because we all know that they are all so very honest. We're proud of that. Yeah. Please go and tell him your opinion. And stay away from Islam.